All right, this one's gonna be on Viddy. It is a modern watch command with scrolling features and also a, um, they call it time machine, but basically like you like roll back in your history and you see what happens. Uh, pretty cool, I really like it. And uh, if you don't know what the watch command is, it's basically uh, a command to like loop a uh, another command. So if you ever use, uh, or you watch my old video on watch, um, it's something like this. So let's say I wanna watch my um, transmission. Uh, remote CLI, all right, remote uh, listing here. So this is my torrent, so I stopped all of them, but um, the thing with this one it was really good because it can actually loop through all of them, but if your list was too long, you can't scroll down. So you see mine right here, it stops at uh, 41, right? And I can't go down or up with the arrow keys or even the Vim high keys, I can't do any of that, right? You can see this is my total if I uh, you know, zoom out here. Right, I got like 42 and some other stuff in the bottom here, right? But um, like this, I can't scroll with anything, you know? So that was really annoying with the watch command. But with Viddy, uh, we're gonna do Viddy dash T and we'll do the same thing, transmission, which uh, it doesn't allow me to auto complete, but you can still do it here, right? And look at this, I can scroll up and down. If Let me zoom in here. So you can see I can scroll up and down like that. We'll add some more in here so you can see the difference here. But, right, I can scroll up and down. We'll add some more here. Uh, we'll add another torrent. Boom, 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 All right. And you can see that now it's downloading, right? It's downloading. You can see that's idle, downloading, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea here. And um, they do have a way to toggle it too. You see all these, um, well, they got three of them here. You see it says suspend, diff, and bell. So suspend is basically, uh, if you hit S here, it'll suspend and basically it'll pause everything here. But you push S again, then it'll unpause and it'll continue. Uh, if you wanna do the diff, right, it's just D, press D. And you can see that um, it will just show you the difference, which is all highlighted in, um, what is that, lime green or something like that, right? Anyways, this one is pretty cool. And they do have a bell system too. So what is the bell system? So basically, if I do B and I go to, let's see here, you can see that it pops up the bell on uh, my window one here, right? And anytime it changes, basically it'll give me a bell which is kind of annoying, but that's what you can do if you want a bell system for some other commands instead of this thing. But that's how you can toggle it. Um, otherwise, you can do it, you know, straight from, um, what is that, vd h here. Right, you can just toggle it on um, with uh, different flags here, like, you know, t is no title. And if you want to do uh, bell, you want to do the difference, you get the idea, right? Anyways, turn that on again here. And this time I'm gonna turn, no, that's it, we're gonna do that one here. Now in here, um, you can actually hit, uh, what's that, the question mark, and this will show you hotkeys within here, all right? And they have hotkeys for, you know, the ones I talked about, like toggling different stuff here. But you can also use, uh, you know, Vim hotkeys like I said, uh, JK to go up and down, uh, you know, G and capital G to top and bottom, stuff like that. But they also have this um, time machine um, feature where it's kind of like a history of all your, all, you know, all the things that has been watching. So to do that, you just hit space um, and then you can use any of these uh, hotkeys here, which is like shift J, shift K, you know, to go back and forth and stuff like that. So anyways, we'll uh, quit out of this one. And now you can see that if I uh, hit space, now you can see at the um, the right side here, these are all your history. And I can scroll back to them using like a shift J and K. So I can go back and, um, well actually let me do, um, let me go down first here. And we'll do this. And now we can scroll back here. So you can see I can scroll back and forth between the history and you can see that, you know, our downloads has been downloading stuff right here, right? Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna use that, but they do have the time machine feature here, right? That's awesome. Anyways, um, 
quit out of that here. Hit space. And pretty much that's what I've been using for some of these um, command line programs that, you know, maybe doesn't have a GUI. Not GUI, uh, a TUI. And I've been using this with that. And um, in the past, I was using some bash command, but, uh, you know, it was, uh, was it was not as nice as this program. This program is really, really awesome. Uh, I believe it's written in Golang. So it's, you know, it's lightweight too. Anyways, that's Vidi. Uh, go check it out if you use the watch command for something. Uh, personally for me, I'm replacing the watch command with Vidi because this thing is freaking awesome. You can scroll, finally. That's the only problem I have with the watch command because that thing was um, pretty solid too. You know, it never crashed on me or anything like that. But it doesn't have scrolling and it sucks if you have, um, you know, like a, let's say a torrent program like this transmission uh, program here and you have a long list. It, you just can't see the bottom in, until you uh, scroll out or, you know, use it from the command line, which is really annoying. But with this thing, look at this. I can scroll up and down finally. Um, thank goodness. Anyways that's it for the program go check it out if you're one of those command line person but don't want a gui not a gui a tui um application you can still use your commands to you know do all your stuff here but you have this uh nice interface to interact with so let's say if i do tsm and i'll say uh what do i got in here uh is it start yeah i think it's start Okay, so if I want to start up, uh, let's say uh, 39 to 42, 39 to 42. All right, you can see that uh, 39 to 42 will be idle, and then it'll start downloading again. So you can do something like that if you're like pure command line person, but still want something that's interactive to look at. Uh, there you go, All right? Anywho, that's it for this program. Uh, really cool, I dig it.